talk about um you know breaking your own heart and there's so many ways that you can break your own heart you know it's not just from a relationship standpoint uh you know there's so many ways um that we break our own hearts and we've all been guilty of it but i just wanted i just kind of wanted to throw this out here tonight and um just have you think for a bit and i want you to understand something like nothing in your life can can happen continuously without your permission. Uh, and I'm going to say that again. I want you to think about that. Nothing in your life can happen continuously without your permission. And when you think about that, you realize just how much power you have to cut off something, to end something, to not accept something, uh, to not continue something. And I get it. I know we have a lot of things, a lot of weaknesses, a lot of voids that, you know, keep us in places that we shouldn't be in anymore. But you have to understand that truth and that fact. You know, one of the quotes that I've, I've said millions of times is that nobody can break out your permission. And it's the truth. You know, nobody can break your heart twice without your permission. And so I want you to think about that. Like, you're always in control of what you accept. You are always in control of what you accept, right? You always have the the power and sometimes we lose it sometimes we forget about it but we always have the power to say you know what nah i'm not gonna accept that we always have the power and say you know what this is settling i'm not gonna settle anymore you know we always have the power to say you know what this is the wrong investment in my life i'm not gonna invest in this anymore because i know the return isn't positive no matter how much my feelings are telling me that i want this right now I know the fact is that later on, this is not gonna bring anything positive out of my life. And so when you realize that you hold that responsibility, when you hold that power, you start to understand that, yeah, people can try to disrespect you. People can try to treat you like you're less. People can try to give you anything. But at the end of the day, you don't have to accept anything that you don't wanna accept, period. And so when we start to accept things that we shouldn't accept, you know, just to keep us in situations that fill our voids, right? We start to break our own heart. You know, I always say we'll chalk it up one to somebody, right? Maybe they broke our own heart. They broke their our heart this or by doing that. But at the end of the day, when we choose to accept things and allow things continuously, that's on us. Like it's on you now. When somebody showed you who they are, right? It's on you now. You can keep trying to make them be something that they're not, but it's on you now, right? Certain habits in your life are destructive to your life. Like, and you know that they're not leading you to your peace. They're not leading you to your betterment. They're not leading you to growth. It's on you, right? Because you know what it is, right? We can be ignorant at first. We all have been ignorant at times, Right. And what I mean, not calling you ign uh, ignorant person, but we have ignorance towards a situation, maybe because we've never been in that situation. And, uh, I can say we don't have knowledge in it. Maybe that's a little bit lighter, <laughs> but we maybe we don't have knowledge towards that situation. We've never been in that situation. Right. But once we know, once we see, once we understand what it is, it's on us. Right. To keep accepting what it is or to say, you know what, I'm not going to accept it no more period. But like I said, this isn't just relationships. These are things we deal with our own lives. This is everything. But so many times we break our own heart. We, because we, we see what we, right? And we ignore, we ignore what it really is. And so um, I just want to challenge everybody watching this to think about that, to think about that, the, to, to, excuse me, to think about the power that you have in your life, to not accept certain things, to change certain things. You know, if you don't like the way you're feeling in your life, you don't like your energy level, if you don't like, you know, how you, how you look, whatever it may be for you, right? First of all, understand that you're beautiful regardless, but if you want to make changes health-wise, you, you don't like the way you feel. That was me. I didn't like the way I felt. I didn't like the way I looked, to be honest with you. And so I wanted to make a change. 
I wanted to make a change because I was breaking my own heart. Because I was doing things that I know weren't going to lead me to a place where I wanted to be. So I had to make a change in my health life. Right? I had to. And I think that's what breaking your own heart is, is when you don't take, you don't take the responsibility or you ignore that you have the responsibility to make a change in your life. And that can go in any area. That, that's holistic. 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 And we can come up with any excuse we want to come up with. We can say anything we want to come up with. Whatever. We can try to sugarcoat things. We could, you know, make excuses for people. We can do all of that all day long. But when the situation doesn't change and it's not changing, it's not going to change. And we continue to keep ourselves in the situation. We continue to keep ourselves in those habits. That's on us. That's on you. That's on you. You can keep trying to run from reality all you want. You can keep trying to ignore reality all you want. But at the end of the day, reality is reality. And reality is not going to change until you make a change to it. And that's facts. That's facts. All right. So just think about that tonight. Think about this. Think about that this weekend. You know, even think about like investments, right? Think about the word investments. You know, what are you allowing people to invest in your life? Right? Because we all know there's returns on, in, on investments. There's returns on investments. And so what are you allowing people to invest in your life? What are the people around you investing in your life? Because that's a good way to determine if you allowing people to stay in your life that shouldn't be there. Right. That's a good way to determine if your environment isn't right for you. What are you investing in your life? What are you investing daily in your life? Because if you're at a place where you don't want to be at, you don't like to be at, you can't stand it. Right. You're not happy when you look in the mirror. You don't appreciate yourself. It's probably because of the investments that have been put in your life. And sometimes we get investments that we don't want. We didn't ask for but the beautiful thing about life that I've realized is that we are always a choice away from change and we're a commitment away from new life, from a new beginning. That's the beautiful thing about life, that you can right now decide to say, I'm going to take a first step. I'm not going to accept this anymore. I'm going to go for this. I'm not going to allow my fear to, to control my life no more. I'm going to conquer my struggle. You can make a decision. And of course, commitment comes after that because a decision without commitment is pointless. But you can make a decision. I made a decision three weeks ago. Probably, yeah, probably three weeks ago. I said, you know what? I'm going to stop playing around with my life. I'm going to stop playing around with my health. Today, down 12 pounds, feel great. Back looking like I can run some routes again. I'm out there doing it. You know, and it's just the beginning, but it started with me, with me making a decision. That's it. Right. I got tired of breaking my own heart. <laughs> I got tired of complaining about the things that I wasn't willing to change. I got tired of being frustrated about the things that I allowed to take place in my life. And that's the crazy part, right? We get sad. We get hurt. We get frustrated ab about the things that we allow to take place. And I know it's 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 not as simple as. Actually, it is really making a choice, but I, I get it. I know there's a lot of things that that go into making a choice and a decision that makes it very hard with certain things in our lives. I get it. But at the end of the day, you got to ask yourself, who do you want to be? You got to ask yourself, where do you want to go with your life? What do you want to do with your life? You got to ask yourself, how much peace do you want to have in your life? Those are questions you have to ask yourself and think about. You guys know me. You know I'm all about peace. That's what it is for me. Peace. Peace is my priority. So it's easy for me now to make certain decisions in my life that that I know aren't going to aren't going to help me live a peaceful life. But just think about that this weekend. You know, I want to come on here and just share that. I had so many topics I wanted to talk about tonight. I could probably stay on here for three hours, but I'm not. <laughs>
but I just wanted you guys to think about that and just and just realize and, and I know it hurts to say that like breaking your own heart because so many times we think about nah no I'm not like Trent you don't you don't know like this person broke my heart this happened to me it was unfair you know but when we allow things to continue in our life when we allow things to continue in our life that's when it moves from somebody or whatever breaking our heart to us breaking our own hearts right we can't allow things to continue because when things continue it just makes it harder for us we just become more depressed more frustrated more not knowing who we are we lose ourselves we don't even know who we are we look in the mirror we like who is this person right because we allow a situation or a person to change us to the to the point where we don't even know who we are and it happens all the time it happens all the time okay so remember who you are stop breaking your own heart stop allowing people to invest in your life that are bad investments and sometimes it don't seem like a bad investment because a lot of us, what happens is we're addicted to, to the moment. We're addicted to feel goods. We want things that feel good. We want things that seem good, right? We want things that look good. And we don't realize that all those goods aren't good for us. So when I, when I think about things, I always think future, right? Of course, I enjoy the moments. And I'm not telling you not to enjoy moments because moments are, are, are beautiful because moments turn into memories. But I think you guys understand what I'm talking about in context is that just because something looks good, opportunity, just because, you know, oh, I can make this amount of money, right? I don't, I don't look at it like that. I say, okay, in the future, okay, money, cool, whatever. But how is this going to be beneficial to my life in the future, Right? Is this going to take away from my family? Is this going to take away from my peace? Is this going to take away from my values? Is this going to take away from who I am as a person? And if it does, I'm not doing it. I'm not being around it. And that's just me. You know, those boundaries in my life are set up. Um, I set those boundaries in my life. So as I move forward, I know I'm making the right decisions with my life for me to be the best I can be. Because I know how it feels to live a life where you say yes to everything and everyone. And at the end of the day, you're the person that suffers. You didn't make them happy. They didn't got what they want. They didn't took what they want. <laughs> and at the end of the day, some months down the line, three months, six months, two years, you the one suffering. And I know a lot of us on here can relate to that. A lot of us on here can relate to that because a lot of people in this world will sell you whatever it is that you're trying to buy, right? <laughs> if you're trying to buy, you know, confidence, they'll sell you confidence. Whatever void that you got, so I tell you, be careful sharing your voids with people because people will try to secure your insecurities. That's a, a lot of people try to do that. They see what you're insecure about and they're going to sell you a dream that they can secure your insecurities. I'm getting on a whole nother subject. Let me, let me stop. <laughs> but, um, that was the message tonight, and I hope that you spend some time when you get off of this live. Like, don't just come on here just to hear me speak and press the little heart and like button. Like, that's cool. Like, it doesn't do anything for me, honestly. Like, I'm glad you guys support me, but I want you guys to apply, man. Like, I don't want you guys to keep living broken. I don't want you guys to keep living unfulfilled. I don't want you guys to keep living in toxic environments. Like, I want you guys to be able to look in the mirror and smile at yourself and be like, you know what? I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. Like, I'm like, I looked at myself today and told myself that I was like, man, I'm proud of you, man. Look at you. Like, and it might seem weird to people, but I'm proud of myself. I'm proud of myself because I made a choice. I made a commitment to that choice and I'm seeing positive results from that choice. Right. And in that journey, in the journey, it was a lot of ups and downs. It was struggles. It was, you know, uh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this. But I kept pushing through it. And a lot of us, when we go through our journey of healing, when we go through our journey of change, when we go through our journey of growth, when we go through our journey of moving on, 
right? It's not all, it's not going to be perfect. It's not going to be pretty. Emotions will arise. Feelings will come up. All these things will happen. But you got to keep pressing forward because you know that that investment is going to have a positive return to your life. All right, so stop breaking your own heart. I've been talking about breaking your own heart since 2011, I think, something like that. Y'all probably can find it somewhere. But the reason I said that is because I want people to take responsibility over their lives and stop giving so much power to people, man, who don't care about you. Stop giving them power. Like, stop, you know, just, just stop giving them power. You know, we, we give, we give them power so much. Oh, they did this to me and I just can't, and I just can't, I, uh, all that. Nah, stop giving them power and take the power back and say, you know what? They did this to me. All right, cool. They ain't doing it again. <laughs> Straight up. Stop giving those people power, man, over your life. And like I said, I know it's hard to break free from the things that are breaking you. I get it. But it's not as hard to break free when you start to care about yourself. When you start to care about your worth, when you start to care about your mental health, when you start to care about your life, when you put yourself first, when you put your peace first, when you put your kids first, whatever it is in your situation, and you start to say, you know what? I got to be the best me. It becomes a lot easier to break free. I promise you that. But see, too many of us, we have our identity wrapped around a person or a situation, right? Or a title, and we think we can't operate our life without that. You didn't come in this world with that. So it makes you think you, can, <laughs> you can't operate your life without that. That's going to take an adjustment time, an adjustment period to adjust. But understand, you can operate your life without that. And a lot of times, and I'm pretty sure you can see it on this comment thread. A lot of times you'll realize after you operate your life without that, right? After you do that. You will see, you will see that your life is better off without it, especially if it's something that was causing you pain, that was causing you hurt. You know, feel that, understand that. So I want to share that with you guys, man. And um, hopefully, hopefully it, it sparks something in you. You know, hopefully it sparks something in you to make you care about yourself in a in a non-arrogant, you know, way. And just realize, man, that no nothing can break your heart more than once without your permission. Just think just think about just think about that line. Just think about that line and ask yourself, what am I giving permission to to break my heart? Who am I giving permission to to make me feel like less, right? Who am I giving permission to, or what am I giving permission to that's not allowing me to be the best me, right? And when you ask yourself that question, I guarantee you'll start to realize that the simple fact I've been trying to say for the last 20 minutes, that you have the power to make a change, that you can take the power back that they took from you or that situation took from you. All right? And realize that, man, like, I don't believe God created us to live broken. That's just, that. I don't believe that. You know, I don't believe God created us to live miserable, unhappy, um, you know, make us forget who he created us to be. Like, if God wanted to create us if God didn't, if God didn't want us, God wouldn't have created, created us if he wanted us to forget who he created us to be, if that makes any sense. You know, obviously he created you for a purpose because you are purpose on purpose for his purpose. And I don't think he created you to live broken. I don't think he created you to live angry. I don't think he created you to live anything less than a peaceful life, I think. And, um... Life is too short to live broken. Life is too short to settle, man. Life is too short to question your existence. Life is too short to want to end it. 
Like, for real. If you know me, you know about those words. Easier said than done. And it's just a lot of people say that. Easier said than done. And that just tells you where your perspective is, like your mindset is. It's in a prison mind state. Because everything in this world is easier said than done, right? Cooking some food is easier said than done. It's my number one analogy I go to. But when you're hungry, you go cook it and you go get it done because you're hungry. And so when you're hungry for change, when you're hungry to, to know the best you, when you're hungry to, to know your worth, you don't say easier said than done. You say no matter how hard it may be, I'm going to get it done. But the problem is that we're not hungry for change. We think we are. But we, we, we become so accustomed to the pain. We become so reliant and so enabled with whatever it is in our life that we just settle for that. Because we're so afraid to step out. We're, we, we're fearful people. I mean, not just in relationships, but in general. Right? There's a lot of people in this world that have visions inside them, dreams inside them that will never, ever step out and do it. Why? Because they're fearful. Fearful. And that's just facts, man. So you can say easier said than all you want. You can say it for the rest of your life. If that makes you feel good, hey, but I just, I'll tell you right now, that pain ain't leaving. And I'm not saying, and I'm not trying to get on you or nothing like that, but I, I wanted to just use that as an example because I looked down and saw that comment because I know a lot of people think like that. And I, I don't say those words in my life no more. Shoot, dropping my running a marathon is easier said than done. This this weight loss journey for me is easier said than done. And I oh, that was a loss. <laughs> was easier said than done. It is easier said than done. But I don't look for that no more. I don't look for those words no more because those words control my life so much. Every time a change presented itself, that's easier said than done. I'm just I'm gonna just stay here. I'm gonna just stay in the pain. I'm gonna just stay right here. I'm gonna just stay in something I don't. Playing about it is definitely is definitely easier than to actually put actions to it. So I'm just going to complain about it and make myself feel good about doing nothing about it. You know, I'm just going just gonna to complain, 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 complain. Then I'm going to ask, how can I get out of a situation? I'm going to just say easier said than done. Or I'm going to just say, you know what? I can't do it. And I'm just going to keep complaining, 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 complaining. And then, you know, I'm going to go watch another video. I'm not going to really apply. Then I'm just going to keep complaining, 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 complaining. You know, Complaining doesn't change anything is my point. And so when you really get sick and tired of being sick and tired, when you really, really get sick and tired of being sick and tired, when you really get sick and tired of being sick and tired, <laughs> you will make a change. I promise you that. I promise you. Or when you really start to love yourself, and hopefully you do, you'll make a change. I promise you that. And don't think it's like, oh, easier for you, Trent. You have a positive mindset and, you know, you, uh, all this stuff. Like, I'm human just like you. I got the same struggles, maybe more than you. You know what I'm saying? But I just choose not to use excuses no more. I choose not to complain no more. I choose to make decisions in my life. I choose to make choices in my life. I know where I, I, know where I want my life to go. I know how I want to feel. I know how I want to live life. I know how I want to experience life. And I'm not going to let nothing stop me from living that life. Period. I made, up, I made up my mind with that. You know, I'm not going to live on nobody's terms. Nobody's terms. I made up my mind with that. And everybody might not like it. Everybody might not respect it. Everybody might have an opinion about it, but I don't care. I don't care. I made up my mind. When you make up in your mind, a made up mind is a powerful thing. Some of us may make up our mind that we can't change and that's the prison we live in. Or some of us make up in our mind that I will change and that's the power we live in. So that choice is yours. That's what I'm trying to say. Like we will find all the excuses in the world not to change. Right. But we'll find all the reason in the world to complain. It's it's not going to nothing's going. You can watch all these videos all you want. I tell y'all, I've been telling y'all this since day one. You can watch all the videos all you want. You can watch them 30 times, 100 times. I can't create your change. I'm not a life changer. I'm not. I'm here to influence your change. I'm here to get you off your butt and make a change, but I can't change nothing. I can't change nothing, but you can. It will be hard. It's going to be 
hard, especially if it's a, you know, I don't know everybody's situation, but when you're dealing with real stuff, it's going to be hard. It's going to be miserable when you make a choice, when you start to change. All that you need to remember is that question I told you to ask yourself, right? What am I or who am I giving permission to to break my own heart, to control my life, to make me settle for less, to make me feel like whatever or what? Like I said, maybe it's not a person. Maybe you're allowing certain things. You're giving permission. You are literally giving somebody permission. If I, if I was to give you something that you hated right now, if I was to a food that you hated, and I said, eat this food, right? I mean, if you were scared, you might eat it. But <laughs> if I was telling you to eat this food and you would be like, no, I don't want it. Why? Because you don't like that food. If I was to give you something that's very bad for you and you knew it was bad for you, if I was to give you poison, right? And to say, here, eat this poison, take this poison right now. You would say, no, why? Because you know that poison is bad for you. And this is a message in itself. I should have just wrapped it up with this. You know that poison is bad for you, right? Physically, you know that. You would say, nah, get that away from me. You might even want a box. You'd be like, nah, get it away from me. But it's, it's crazy, right? Because when it comes to emotional, right, things, we accept that poison. We accept it, right? People will give it to us. And we have the right to say, nope. I don't want it. Nah, I ain't settling for that. Nah. And I get it. Sometimes it's wrapped in different, right? Sometimes it's wrapped in different. Sometimes it's like, you know, it's a trick. But once, like I said, once we recognize it, we keep accepting this poison over and over and over. And we expect the, we, we expect this, the poison that we know is killing us to heal us, to actually change us, to actually make our lives better. When we know that this is that when we know poison is what we're taking, we know it's pain, right? What's the poison? The pain, the heartache, right? All the toxic things that are happening and we keep taking this poison. We keep taking it. When we have the power to say, nope, I ain't taking it no more. And so think about it like that. And, and I know it's an analogy, but that's how I think about things sometimes in life, man. It's like, it's crazy how I can say no to things like literally in the physical that I know if somebody was to give me poison and they say, here's poison, eat it. I would be like, nah, you crazy, you tripping. I ain't taking that. That'd kill me. But it's crazy that we take these emotional poisons that literally can kill us, can literally add to stress, can literally add to suicidal thoughts, but we take it, right? And I get it. When you're in love, all these things, I get it. It's, it's a lot easier to accept it, but we have to understand, we have to identify poison like maybe that's what you label it as like maybe that'll help you maybe you say you know what it's poison <laughs> this is poison and if i keep taking this i'm gonna die and maybe you don't die physically but you will die emotionally you know you'll die spiritually and you won't know who you are you will just be a shell your soul will be gone right because you keep accepting poison in your life you keep accepting it I'm going to make a video about that. I'm going I'm to make a video about, about that, about the poison and acceptance and, you know, the power of that. Like, it's crazy. Like, I, I don't know. That blows my mind. Does it blow your mind? Maybe I'm just tripping. But that blows my mind how when it's something in the, I say the physical, I guess that's the best word to way to put it. But it's like in the, in real life, what? Emotion was real life too. So in the physical, it's like we can be like, I don't like. We like, nah, I don't want that food. Nah. I remember my mom would try to like force me to eat food. I'm like, no, I'm not eating it. I don't want it. And I would just, mm, nope, 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 nope. I'm not eating it. <laughs> my son does that a lot, right? Maya, my daughter, does that. Like she's not going to eat anything she don't want to eat. She would literally spit it out and throw it on the floor. Or she would literally lock her lips. Literally do that. So why can't we do that when it comes to the well-being of our hearts and our and our and our voids break down our discipline, our addictions break down our disciplines. But we have to strengthen those disciplines back up. You know, um, I, t I was talking with my trainer today, and he was just asking me questions. He was like, "Man, your mindset is like strong. Like, 
I was like, man, I care about mindset. And he was like, you know, why are you doing the marathon? He asked me different questions about different stuff. And I told him, I said, man, I do. A lot of times I do things like that I think I can't do or I go on these journeys. I call them self-control journeys. So even with this weight loss journey, for me, it's a self-control journey because you know that I believe that things are contagious throughout your life. I feel like if you if you quit in one thing, you will quit in a lot of things. I feel like, you know, um, if you if you have self-control in one area of your life and you really work on your self-control, it can be contagious to other things that might not have anything to do with the thing that you're doing. And so I was telling, I was like, man, I like to do things that work on my self-control. I like to do things that work on my on my uh, perspective. I like to do those things because I feel like those strengthen, it strengthens my life in all areas of my life. It's a holistic type of thing. And um, I say that to, to basically say, well, I actually forgot the reason why I was saying that, but I said to basically say that, um, you know, maybe it's time for you to find that self-control, right? Maybe it's it's practicing self-control in different areas of your life that you might not even think have nothing to do with your situation, right? Maybe it's what you eat. Maybe it's, you know, you're going to the gym. I don't know. But as you, as you achieve, as you progress, confidence takes place, right? Muscle was built. As they say, muscle memory. Muscle was built. And I think that can help you in different areas of your life because I always, I call it leverage, right? I always like to pull from from different places, right? If I always say like, for example, my whole skydiving experience, right? I was like, oh, that's a fear. Like I conquered that fear. So anytime I feel fearful, I always say, man, I went skydiving. Like I conquered that fear. Like let's get it, you know? And it helps me when I pull from different areas of my life. So even with, uh, even when I was vegan, you know, through my mom's process of cancer, you know, I was vegan for what, six months. And it was easy for me because of course it was from my mother. Um, but now I can always say it's easy for me to eat healthy because I went vegan for six months and I'm in Texas and I'm a Texan. I'm a down South boy. So like going vegan is like impossible <laughs> almost for somebody like me from the South. I from was born in Little Rock, lived in New Orleans. And you already know if you live in New Orleans, it's, it's hard. And then living in Texas. So, but I say that because I like to always pull from different things. So I know that if I want to, there's nothing that I couldn't do, you know, especially when I have God's help on my side. So, yeah, I'm talking about a lot tonight. I've been on here for almost 40 minutes. I hope y'all got the, the gist of this message. Um, I know I threw some other stuff in there that maybe you can take and apply to your life. But um, y'all let me know. Comment right now one thing that you're taking from tonight's message. I talk about repair, right? That's one of the R's in rehab, uh, repair, or the three R's, you know, the rehab process. And the definition of repair is the only way to harbor true strength is to conquer pain at its deepest level. And so it's kind of like, if you don't get down to the root things, right, it'll find its way back to the surface. So even when you ask yourself that question, you understand like, okay, it's poison. Okay, cool. You identified it, right? You changed it. You you stop allowing it. But I think you need to dive a little bit deeper and ask yourself, why were you allowing it, right? Why were you so attracted to this poison? Or why were you allowing this poison to take place even though you knew it was bad for your life? And you have to get down to these root issues of why we allow certain things, why our habits the way our why our habits are like they are. Because if we don't understand these things, it's a good chance that these things, these poisons will repeat themselves, right? We'll find it later on down our future. Maybe it might not be from that person, but maybe it's from another person. Maybe it's from another situation in our lives. So we have to understand these things when, um, you know, when we're, when we're talking about this, when we're understanding this, when we're evaluating this, you know, don't just leave it at a surface level. It's like, okay, well, I don't want to put poison in my life. Cut them out, period. Cut her out, cut him out, cut whoever out cut that out and that's it and you move on with your life nah okay well why was i allowing this why was i giving permission to this it's like who do you have in your life that pours into your life like who do you have in, in your life that inspires you who do you have in your life that helps you you know what i'm saying like who do you have in your life that you can talk to 
that can like grow your mindset, man. That's a, you know, that's a whole nother video, but that's so important that you have that type of counsel in your life that can help you, you know? And I know some, I know for a lot of you, I'm that person, you know, through the live videos and the videos and, you know, I'm glad I can be that person for a lot of you, but you know, it's even more special and important. I've noticed changes in my life. Connection is messing up. So I'm about to get off of here. I appreciate you guys. I 